Hi everyone, this is Liz Sundet, and I am here to talk today about one of my favorite features, and that is doing custom templates with NVV Amplify. And that feature actually came out uh, about a couple months ago, uh, but it's not too late to get started with creating custom templates. Now, here's how I use custom templates, is that I would do a status update on some customer meetings that we had about once a week or every other week. And that status update really included like what happened during the meeting, some important announcements, some different links to some information, uh, maybe a recap of the actual meeting, maybe some homework that we wanted our customers to be doing. Uh, and then, you know, a link to the deck, a link to the video, uh, you know, all of the team members being prominently displayed. And once I started using the ability to create that as a custom template and start with the same static information each time, as well as showing me the highlighted pieces of information that needs to get changed week over week, that really helped my productivity and helped me speed out speed up the ability to push out those communications. So let's go ahead and take a look and how we get started. So here I am in my campaign already, and I've labeled that campaign as create a template, and that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. Uh, so we start with a publication, and it usually starts with a publication, and then we save that publication back as a template. So you could have that publication as your kind of your first uh, publication that you send out to people, but we now have that save a template as well that you can go back and create that publication time after time. So let's just start out with creating that new publication. I'm gonna hit the new button here and it's going to open up that publication page. I can select if I've got you know a particular image that I want to be able to use time after time for you know that particular publication, or you know, you can switch it up very, very easily over uh, those many weeks that you are doing that as well. So uh, I'm just going to do a meeting recap. And then I'm going to create some text in that particular publication. I'm going to go over and I've got all of this written out already. So I'm going to just copy and paste that in. And then I'm going to make some, you know, adjustments because I like bold headlines. So we're going to, you know, bold those headlines. And then I also might hey, you know, this, this might change time over time. So let's go ahead and highlight that because I want to might, might want to change that next time. Now you could start very easily with, you know, just the basics, the rough template with no information in there. But I kind of like to, you know, have it as an example just to say, hey, you know, this is, this is going to change, but this is what we've used in the past too. Uh, and then we can reformat that layout if we want to. I'm going to go ahead and add some media into there. I'm not actually going to put the media in there, but I'm going to have a place for the media to be in there. If I wanted to, you know, switch my section here, I can certainly do that and have, you know, two side by side types of things. But for now, I'm just going to have, um, you know, file and media web part. And I'm going to have one for, uh, you know, hey, I, I want to have one that shows my PDF or my, uh, you know, deck that I presented in a PDF. And then another one for, you know, any video recordings that we might have done. And then I love the people web part. So I'm going to use the, the people on that and just say team members. And I'm just going to put Megan in for right now. Megan doesn't actually work with me. I wish she did because, you know, I mentioned her quite a few times. Uh, but that's really, you know, how we create that publication. Now, this publication I could easily send out 
uh, you know, it's ready to go. I just take out uh, some of those highlights and that type of thing. Uh, but I really want to save this as a template. So I'm going to go up to that save and close and I'm going to select the save as template. Now it's going to open up or almost duplicate that particular screen. And I want to set it as meeting recap template. And I'm going to save that as my template. And then I can go back in every single time that I have that. Now let's see where that shows up, that we're gonna go back to that campaign area. And we can see that we've got my publication for that meeting recap. But if I go under this view more templates, I've got a few out of the box templates here. I'm going to look at that view more templates and I've now got that meeting recap template. I've got a couple other templates that we had already in there, but I'm going to use that meeting recap template every single time that I want to start a new publication. So can't wait to hear how you have used this and hopefully see you soon. Thanks everyone. Make it a great day. Thank you.